Hello, this is uh, Mary Phillips, the person who does the purchasing for teens uh, for books with a book uh, recommendation for you. And this is not a teen book. This is an adult book, although teens can read it. The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wolleben. And it's available both on Hoopla and on Overdrive as um, an ebook and also an audiobook. And this book is dear to my heart. I'm the person who buys the trees from Saratoga Tree Nursery and sees the young people distribute them each year. And of course, this year we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, but we do have a credit for next year, and hopefully next year I'll see you all at the library and you can get your trees. Uh, years ago, when I was traveling both in Ireland and Iceland on uh, tours, I could see that they were planting these clumps of trees in an effort to reforest their um, countries. And one of our um, American members of the tour group said, uh, that's not the way to do it. You're planting them way too close together and uh, you need to space them out. Um, they're going to crowd each other out. And the tour guide very gently explained, if we plant them separately, they die. And I thought maybe it's the wind or something. But after reading The Hidden Life of Trees, I, I have a little more understanding of what it takes to make a forest. And it's far more complicated than we would ever think. Um, this book is quite interesting. It's not that long and the chapters are short. So it's, it's a fairly easy read considering that he uses a lot of studies and tells you a lot of very complex ideas and um, new research on trees. Uh, trees have no brains, but they can remember, they can count. Trees have no mouths, but they can communicate. Uh, they do make sound. And uh, so trees have an incredibly complicated life cycle and uh, interconnectivity that I don't think we realized until recently until research has been done. So this is a very exciting book, very interesting book. Uh, trees uh, live a completely different lifestyle from us. First of all, they live lo a lot longer than we do. In an old growth forest, even our average trees can, and contain, can live to 500 years of age. Um, one of the oldest trees found in Sweden was 9,600 years old. Um, giant sequoias um, live uh, from 3,000 years. It's, it's not that old for a giant sequoia. So they live on a completely different level than we do, and they have a very complex uh, life and an interconnectivity that we really don't understand, and we're just starting to understand. As Again, this, this book is very short. It has short chapters. Um, but it, it really will tell you a lot about trees. And at this time of year, when you look out your window or if you take a walk around your neighborhood, you can see that despite all the strife that we're having and all the angst and displacement and fear that we feel, spring is here and the trees are responding to it. So enjoy the trees that you have and find out a little bit more about them in The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wolf. Lieben, and it's available on Hoopla and on Overdrive. And if you read it and like it, please let me know. I'm mphillips at newcitylibrary.org, and I'd always appreciate from hearing from you.